Hi, everybody. Early Shabbat Shalom. It's Cantor Blatt here to talk to you a little bit about our Torah portion, Vayetze, which is one of my very favorite portions. I'm very lucky and excited to get to speak with you about it, and I'll tell you why. I'm sure you know the story of Jacob. He's running away from uh, the wrath of his brother, um, and he's running all day, and then the nighttime comes, and he has to rest his head. So he gathers some rocks he, to create a pillow. He lays his head down, and in his sleep, he dreams about angels moving up and down a ladder between heaven and earth. Then when he wakes up, first thing he says is, God is in this place and I did not know it. And then he was a little bit frightened and he says, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. So not only did he not know that God was there until he had that dream of the angels and wake up, he woke up and he sees, he sees the light, but then he names the spot Bethel. He goes on, he says, I know that this place is, is Luz, but I'm going to name it Bethel, the house of God, the new name of this city. And it becomes a holy place. It already was a holy place, but the fact that Jacob noticed that it was a holy place, it gave it a name and it made it holy in the eyes of Jacob as well as the eyes of God. And so what can we learn from this Torah portion? Well, the first thing is Bethel is such a holy place. You walk in, you feel how holy it is, but there are other places where God resides that you might not know. And so I invite you to go out into the world, into your life, and to see where God is residing where you did not know. See if you can open your eyes up, maybe close your eyes, think about angels moving up and down a ladder. And then when you open your eyes up, see if you can notice the holiness in a place. And then you can say, God is in this place and I did not know because God is everywhere. We can feel God's presence when we stop and when we notice that it's there. So Bethel, the place where Jacob names, has always been a holy place. God was always there. And then when he laid his head down and awoke after his dreams of, dr of ladders, he could notice the holiness. So I invite you to Enter Shabbat with that in mind, and hopefully you'll be able to see the holiness. You'll be able to see God all around you in places where you didn't even know God was. Shabbat Shalom.